Joining us right now is Sam Sorbo, wife of actor Kevin Sorbo and the host of The Sam Sorbo Show. Sam, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So what's your take on this? Is California warming up to Donald Trump? And, and what do you think about Bernie's, uh, Bernie Sanders' odds in, in California? Uh, this is great. This, it's great news that he's doing so well in California. He's doing so much stuff in California. But I can only think that the reason that he's doing so much in California is because he knows that he's behind Hillary. That's her base. I mean, that's where she, that, that's her, th those are her peeps out there. And as for Trump, it's early days yet. I think the, uh, the campaign still has a long way to go. Uh, and I'm kind of excited to see the battle. Uh, let the battle begin between uh, Trump and, and Hillary. Uh, the, the, what, what's so funny is all the time before they were saying that it was going to be a big battle at the Republican convention, and it looks like it's the Democrats that are going to have a great big bloodbath. Here's Morgan Ortegas. Sam, you're a big advocate of homeschooling, which I think is fantastic, and some members of my family do that. And I wanted to ask you a little bit more about that, because the average American family, they're lucky if they have a two-parent home, but they're also really lucky if they can have someone to stay at home and work. Most people can't. So how is your message on homeschooling relevant to American families where both people need to work? Well, it's only relevant in the sense that the schools form a wedge between the child and the parent. And so the schools become a non-option for the, for the family. Uh, homeschooling is not nearly as difficult as people think it is. The education bureaucracy wants you to think that you just can't do it. But I want to read you a little quote here. This is from Fichte, who was, who's influenced the entire public school movement. Education should aim at destroying free will so that after pupils are thus schooled, they will be incapable throughout the rest of their lives of thinking or acting otherwise than as their schoolmasters would have wished. The subtitle of my book is Inspirational Journey from Self-Doubter to homeschool advocate. I used to doubt myself. We all do. We doubt our abilities to teach our children because it's instilled in us having gone through the public school system. And so I'm just here to empower parents. How they get it done is up to them, but they can do it. Uh, so, Sam, uh, looking at uh, tying this back in, you know, Donald Trump, uh, his talk on the election uh, on schooling. Um, it's not really feasible to have the entire country homeschooled, right? So I think a big point of this election is going to be schooling. So if you could bring this back to Trump and his plans for schooling and how that's going to play out in the election. Well, in the early days, the entire country was homeschooled, but Trump just wants to take it from the federal level to the state level, which basically brings it back to the families so they have a little bit more control of what's happening in our schools. And with Common Core, which is federally devised, right, uh, they're taking the, the, the whole transformation that's happening in our schools is is guided by the feds and that is not acceptable because every school is different every community is different when people ask they they say they want standardized education i go that's the stupidest thing i've ever heard standardized education do you want your child to be common or exceptional if you're looking for exceptional then you need exceptionalized education and common core is not the answer that's a good by the way great analysis no and, and, but, and obviously you're very passionate but let me say how do you know if, if a child is poised to do better in terms of homeschooling versus traditional school? I mean, uh, are there things that you, you, are takeaways <laughs> for you that you say, you know what, this is a prime example where my child actually should be schooled at home? There's only one, there's only sort of one caveat for me for, for a, that, that questions the, the choice of homeschooling is that that would be the only child who lives out in the boonies and has no... Uh, access to to any kind of uh, social issues, so, so socialization or whatever. Okay. But when people argue, oh, socialization is the reason I take my kids to school. No, you should be taking your kids to school for education. They're not getting an education, and the socialization that they're getting with the bullying and everything is mm. quite questionable. So you really have to rethink it. Now there are other options. I'm an advocate for homeschooling because I found that it was very successful, and it's a way to preserve the family unit. Yeah. There's also a political tie with the homeschooling movement across the country. If you look back to the birth of the Tea Party, that, that was, it was actually in the South in particular, in the homeschooling movement, that was where the, you had a lot of people really connected with one another. And even in this uh, presidential election, uh, people who homeschool in states like Iowa and their support for people like Dr. Ben Carson. Uh, again, yeah. it's, it, it's a very powerful, and it's not kind of a loose grouping of parents. It's a very interconnected network work of people state and state by state but also nationally yeah that's really important you're right yeah, it's like the go ahead sorry go ahead, Tim. it's like the best kept secret 
Exactly. It really is, and, and there's it groups like now that. that are forming, and there's there's just a lot of opportunities. So I urge parents to to check into it and see if it might be an option. Try it for a semester, see how it goes. And you know, you know. Congrats to you for the book and for getting this uh, this conversation going in America, Sam. We want to ask you about this other story that we're watching: Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, and Google all agreeing to new rules over hate speech. According to new rules released by the EU this week. The technology companies are investigating and they say they're going to remove online hate speech within 24 hours before it goes viral. What's your take on that? Well, who is the determining factor? I mean, do they have, is there like a book that could tell us what would constitute hate speech? Or well, are they just going to go? It's pretty obvious, right? I mean, when, it, when someone's just, you know, hating someone else online, I, I don't know what would be determined, you know, who, who determines what's really bad or but but I guess anything hate related. Okay, Hillary yeah. Clinton is calling Donald Trump dangerous. Is that hate speech? I, I think that's free speech. What do you guys think? But I think that it's it, it's so ironic and kind of repugnant that Twitter now is, is going to get on board with this when they have really failed to police the terrorist activity well, of ISIS yeah, recruiters absolutely. for years. It was going on, and only when did they got called out about it did they they really started taking these accounts down. But it, it gets into the issue of uh, some of these social media sites have really gone after conservative speech. That if you say that you are pro-life, a gun-toting gun, gun pro-life Christian, that that somehow is, is hate speech. It, you know, Todd Starnes, for example, said that and got his account blocked on Facebook. It's a good point. So, it's a slippery slope. I, I think that it's, if you preach transparency, if you preach freedom, then it's going to be very tricky for all of these social media companies to decide what's hate and what is Totally agree. Sam, what, you agree with that? I do. I, th I think it's a very dangerous area that we're that we're entering into with the, the the ability to just shut somebody down because you determine that their speech is somehow offensive. Yep. Great point, Sam. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you soon, Sam Sober. Though. Come